and you can see it's definitely off. That's what was left in the capacitor, and it's nothing there. Five point two volts. Five point eight volts. Five point two volts. Five point eight volts. So they never depleted and they never went down during this whole thing. It didn't burn any energy except for what we took from it and the batteries are definitely charged. So once again, I think I'm just gonna go over this oscillator one more time for you so we get this right. I want you, when you're building this, to use the HD H11D1 Opto for this device for the to drive the power transistors. The hookup I want on the power transistor is if the power transistor and I'll draw I'll indicate the power transistor with this big symbol. Okay, so I want the opto, if you're going to build this, to be hooked up just like this. Five, four, B, E, C. Diode, indicated right here and notice there's a series string there's three of them that are firing exactly at the same time and they are current limited through this resistor here you don't want to go too much on these because you you don't want to put too much current in these diodes and have them not work and then you'll have no opto coupler so the switch won't work right. So you want to be between uh, 5 to 12 volts. You want to start out the switch exactly like I did here independently by running it with a battery with a 5 volt regulator on it. So you want to regulate this SG chip here This ground is the same as this ground, right here. This would be pin 3, pin 2, pin 1. So you'll come in with 12 volts here, you'll regulate it down to 5, and that's what will run your oscillator. And if you feel that you need a little bit more through all this, then I would take this up to an 8 volt regulator, maximum, right at this point in time when you're first getting this switch to run. We're, we're taking this 12 volt battery, and in the original drawing, in the original drawing, we had an independent 5 volt battery right here and that ran the oscillator so this right now is running the oscillator for us here because we wanted to explain the sequence and switching here and where the energy comes out of 
But those LEDs are all on the outside of the Optos. Yes, they're all on the outside of the Optos. They're I exactly what is shown here in the diagrams that you had on the board where the LEDs were. And the other thing is that if you really do want to charge this from one side of this, then you have to have the same batteries here. And you have to decide which battery you want to put this in parallel with through diode isolation. So for just convenience right now to run the switch for you and show you that it's absolutely a working device. Um, it was easier to hook it up this way. And it's accomplishing its job because it's running all this stuff and these aren't going down. And there are no series resistors in line with these LEDs at all. So they're not current limited. So it's just the negative energy that's running them. And see, um, this is a rectified negative. This is why this one's showing you a continuous light almost. Just like the radio was pulsing, that's what you're seeing right here is the frequency. So we'll show you what we did. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the circuit board right there that you're free to experiment with. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll photograph that and just... Uh, okay, so you want to do that? We were talking about uh, this diode string here and what, what the sequences were. And as I said before, the sequences are that one side all turns on together, and that would be S1, S3, and S6, which Ronald Brent wanted to have done. And then this side goes off, and this side goes on. That would be S2, S4, and S5. And one more time, it's very important that you select the current through these through these diodes by by these resistors up here on pin 13 and pin 12. Related to the voltage. Uh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, because we don't know where you're going to go with this when you try to reconstruct it. We don't know if you're going to be at 5 volts. We don't know if you're going to be at 12 volts or you're going to be at 24 volts. Now, if you were at 24 volts, you'd, uh, you'd have two batteries in series and then the switch in between the two batteries in series. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take just a little bit here and go through the diodes and what the diode arrangement is on the, uh, on the battery hookup so you know where the diodes are. Okay, so anyway, what I've done now is I've, I've drawn the full circuit on the board the way I want it arranged. And you'll notice here that I've made a correction from the beginning of the, of the uh, video that we were using uh, a Schottky barrier diode, which is a number SB570, and so I have it right here. In, in all these places. And these are low drop diodes. They're very quick in recovery. And once again, I'm going to mention that we're using the MJL21194 audio power transistor in this circuit. So this is the sequence S1, S3, and S6 fire together and I'll put the dots here and this is the way that we want the diodes arranged so we want this one this one and this one fire together on this side and then 
this side goes off and this one this one and this one turn on okay the next next portion of the circuit is when when these are firing in, in the first portion of the circuit you have the arrangement of the optocoupler so there's no, no no need for me to redraw that the only need for me is to tell you that this is the cathode to the diode for those that don't know and this is the anode so if you're not sure about the way this diode goes you look at the diode and on the diode you'll have a band with two leads. And that is the cathode to the diode. So when, when you look at this, it's actually going just like this. Okay, the next thing is, okay, how do we get the batteries to charge? So, let's just imagine that the optocouplers are in, the oscillators in, because to try to draw that on this board, it gets very complicated, but uh, we have some stills of that, so you'll be able to see that. Um, what happens is... We want these these diodes here that are, are negative. These are at the negative, or, or these here, excuse me. These diodes right here are the negatives. So what we have to do is we have to take we have to take this transistor here and we insert the diode. which is an LED. And that diode goes to this negative rail. 